Hi, I'm Hub Arkish for Pro Football Weekly with more of our exclusive NFL Way We Hear It. And the way we're hearing it in Tampa, the Bucks have got some serious decisions to make about their third-year cornerback, Aqib Tlaib, a kid that they love on the football field, but he just can't seem to stay out of trouble off the field. Now, it's been widely reported, including here at Pro Football Weekly, almost a month ago, he was arrested for allegedly firing a gun at his sister's boyfriend. Now, he claims he's preparing a rigorous defense, that in fact he's innocent. His mother was also charged in the incident, and the Bucks have really not had much to say about it ever since it happened. This is a young man who's been in trouble all three years he's been in Tampa off the field on the football field 15 interceptions in three years one of the best young corners in the league that lockdown shutdown corner that is so hard to find the Bucks would love to be able to keep him on their football team but firing guns at people are pretty serious charges and this is a young man who was troubled coming out of Kansas State now look at GM Mark Dominic the other interesting news this week is that he's just signed an extension to his contract. They're very happy, the Glazer family that is, with the work that Dominic has done as the GM of this football team. And he's made a living taking a chances on players like Tlaib. Look at Mike Williams, the troubled wide receiver out of Syracuse. Maybe the best rookie receiver in the league last year. How about LeGarrette Blount? Kid couldn't stay on the field in college, but he gets in and is the most productive rookie running back in the league last year. So Dominic, clearly not afraid to take a chance on these kids. He thinks maybe Raheem Morris, his young coach, is the guy who can handle them and again Talib has been great on the football field however these charges very serious he may be preparing a very rigorous defense but the Bucks cannot remain silent on it much longer they've got a bonus right now in that with the lockout they can't be talking about players anyway but as soon as the labor impasse is settled assuming Talib's case has not come to trial a lot of people in Tampa want some answers about whether this is the type of behavior that the Bucks organization is going to tolerate more on this story as we go forward for Pro Football Weekly, I'm Hub Arkish. For more Way We Hear It, analysis and breaking news, follow us on Twitter or right here at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week.